hello students and welcome to my channel math sab so today in this video i'll tell you about the applications of laplace transforms in solving the differential equations so let us see how to solve differential equations using laplace transforms so i have already given the formula so summary of the laplace transforms in my last video so do watch my last videos to understand these formulas and I'll just display them and let's go to the application part. So the first exercise is we need to solve the following initial value problem. Y double dash plus Y is equal to sine theta. Y at 0 is equal to 0. Y dash at 0 is equal to 0. Now, why are we learning Laplace transforms to solve these type of equations? So you can see that the ones who have gone through my videos on ordinary differential equations, you might have seen that this is a second order linear differential equation, which is a non-homogeneous type. So its solution will contain both the complementary solution and the particular integral, right? So to find out the general solution, we have to find out the complementary solution separately. Then we have to calculate the particular solution different. And then by adding the two solutions, we will get the general solution. Then the general solution will contain arbitrary constants. To get rid of those constants, we have to apply these initial value conditions to find out the values of the constants. And that will yield my answer, right? So you can see that there are many steps involved to calculate the solution. So with the help of Laplace transforms in one go, you can calculate its answer. So let us see how to calculate so what is the first step? The first step is whatever is the div given differential equation, you will apply Laplace on both sides, right? So try to be with me, otherwise you'll get lost or otherwise first listen to me what I'm doing and then you can practice it on your own way, right? So to the first given differential equation, I've applied Laplace on the both sides of the differential equation, right? Now we have done so you will now see that all the properties, all the formulas that we have been doing so far in Laplace, all of them will be used now, right? So here you can see that we will be applying first the linearity property to separate the terms, right? So let's apply the linearity property. So we have Laplace of y double dash plus Laplace of y is equal to Laplace of sine. 3t right so this is my first step after this what is the next step now we have done the derivative formula so what is the derivative formula for y f double dash it is s square laplace of now here f is acting as y so i'm writing f instead of y here s square laplace of y minus s f at 0 so that will become y at 0 minus y dash at 0 plus laplace of next term is laplace of y and we have done the standard table formulas for sine so what is laplace of sine 3t so i'll just write down quickly the formula for laplace of sine 80 here so what is laplace of sine 80 Laplace of sine 80 was a upon s square plus a square. So accordingly, what is Laplace of sine 3t? It is 3 upon s square plus 3 squared, that is 9. So now you can see that some initial conditions are given to us in the problem. Y at 0 is given to us as 0. Y dash at 0 is also given to us as 0. So both the terms will vanish. So we are only left with these two terms. <clears throat> and in these two terms, I can assume that let Laplace of y be equal to y bar, right? So we will get s square, then we have y bar minus, oh, sorry, plus y bar is equal to 3 upon s square plus 9. Done. So now let us collect y bar. So y bar into s square plus 1 is equal to 3 upon s square plus 9. So from here y bar comes out to be 3 upon s square plus 1 multiplied by s square plus 9. Now this is y bar. 
we need to calculate y. So if Laplace of y is equal to y bar, how do we calculate y by taking it inverse Laplace? So what is y? Y is nothing but Laplace inverse of the term 3 times s squared plus 1 in the denominator multiplied by s squared plus 9. Right. Now for inverse Laplace, we know that when we have a product term, we need to split this. And splitting is usually done with the help of partial fractions. So let us split this term first. So let us see how can we write 3 upon s squared plus 1 into s squared plus 9. So this can be written as. <coughs> we can simply substitute s squared with any term. Let us say, okay, we'll be alone to use y here. Let's use t here. So I can write this as 3 upon t plus 1 into t plus 9. So now they are linear. So I can write this as a upon t plus 1 plus b upon t plus 9. <coughs> now to get the coefficient of a, let us put t equal to t plus 1 equal to 0. So we will get t is equal to minus 1. So in this expression, hide t plus 1 and just substitute t equal to minus 1. So you will get t 3 by 8. So the coefficient a is nothing but 3 by 8. Similarly, to get the coefficient b, let us put the denominator equal to 0. So we get t is equal to minus 9. So hide this term t is equal to minus 9. So you'll get 3 upon minus 9 plus 1. So b comes out to be minus 3 by 8. So this term becomes 3 by 8. I can resubstitute t with s square. So I get s square plus 1 minus I have taken out 3 by 8 common. So I get this term. <coughs> so coming back to the step from where we have left. So y comes out to be 3 by 8. I could split the term as Laplace inverse of 1 upon s squared plus 1 minus 3 by 8 Laplace inverse of 1 by s squared plus 9. Right. So now if you remember the inverse Laplace transforms, we have done the, the table formulas also. So 1 upon s squared plus 1 is nothing but sine t minus 3 by 8 here. <coughs> a squared is 3 squared so we have 1 by a that is 1 by 3 and we have sine 3t over here so this leads to 3 by 8 sine t 3 gets cancelled and we get minus 1 by 8 sine 3t so this is our answer so you can see that without calculating complementary solution without calculating particular integral we could calculate the solution in one go, right? So this is how we apply the Laplace transforms to calculate the solutions of differential equations. So let us try one more problem so that you are through with this. So let us solve d2y by dt squared plus 2 dy by dt plus 2y is equal to 5 sine t where both the initial conditions y at 0 and y dash at 0 is equal to 0. Let us try this. So first step, let us apply Laplace on both sides. So we have Laplace of d2y by dt squared plus 2 times dy by dt plus 2y is equal to Laplace of 5 sine t. So this is, let us apply the linearity property and let us split up the terms. So Laplace of d2y by dt square plus 2 times Laplace of dy by dt plus 2 times Laplace of y is equal to, I can take out 5 common, Laplace of sine t. So let us apply the derivative formula here. So this is s square Laplace of y minus s y at 0 minus y dash at 0 plus 2 times 
Laplace of dy by dt will be s into Laplace of y minus y at 0 plus 2 times Laplace of y is equal to 5 sin t Laplace will be s square plus <coughs> y. <coughs> Next. y at 0 is 0, y dash at 0 is 0 and again y at 0 is 0. So after substituting these values, we get S square. Let us put Laplace of Y with Y bar. This is Y bar. Then we have 2S again Y bar. And then we have 2 Y bar is equal to 5 upon S square plus 1. So what is Y bar from here? Y bar comes out to be 5 upon S square plus 1 multiplied by s square plus 2s plus 2. So we have to calculate y. So y is nothing but Laplace inverse of 5 upon s square plus 1 multiplied by s square plus 2s plus 2. Right. So now using partial fractions, we will try to split this term. And when we use partial fractions, let us see what do we get. Partial fractions. Since you can see that we have both quadratic expressions, so you can split this as as plus b upon s square plus 1 and cs plus d upon s square plus 2. And this is how you get the terms after making the partial fraction, right? So now let us see how to calculate the inverse Laplace of these two terms. So the second one is easy to do. So let us try the first term first. <coughs> In the denominator, you can see you have s squared plus 2s plus 2. So let us see, can we make a whole square over here? So very easily you can see that the denominator can be written as s plus 1 whole square plus 1 will be left, isn't it? You can write 2 as 1 plus 1. So s square plus 2s plus 1 will be s plus 1 square plus 1. Now looking at the denominator, let us try to frame the numerator like this. <coughs> you can split 3 as 2 plus 1. So you can take out 2 common. So you can write this term like this. Right? <coughs> then let us write down minus 2s plus 1 over here. And we have s square plus 1. Now let us split all these terms. Let me write, take a new pen color. So now we have 2 times Laplace inverse of the first term is s plus 1 upon s plus 1 square <coughs> plus 1. Then the next term is split as Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 square plus 1. Then the next term is minus 2 Laplace inverse of s upon s square plus 1. And the fourth term is Laplace inverse of 1 by s square plus 1. Right? So now this is what? You can see that what is my basic term here? The basic term here is s upon s square plus 1. And then s is getting shifted to s plus 1. This is what is happening. So s upon s square plus 1 means simply cos t, isn't it? And when s gets shifted to s plus 1, that means we have the first shifting property e to the power minus t. Next term. This is, again, s is getting shifted to s plus 1. And we have 1 upon s squared plus 1. So that is e to the power minus t into sine t. Next, minus 2. This is Laplace inverse of simply cos t. And this is Laplace inverse of sine. Right? So this leads to my answer. As simple as that. Right? So you can see that using only two or three steps, I could convert the solution of a differential equation using Laplace form, right?
Okay, I hope you have understood the methods, right? The technique to solve it. And now you can check your progress by trying these questions. So in case you're not able to get any answer, do let me know in the comment section, right? And do let me know if there is any other difficulty. So thank you so much for listening to me. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Believe in yourself and you will definitely achieve your goals. Thank you so much.